basically. Yeah. Hey, it's Savannah and Kudzi, and in this series, we will be meeting some of the students working on UBC design teams, the projects they work on, and the spaces they occupy. We, we hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy the, the video. video. Hi, uh, my name is Oscar and I'm on UBC Sailbot. Uh, come on in. Uh, so our team builds autonomous robotic sailboats uh, for the purpose of crossing the Pacific. Uh, in the past, um, we built smaller boats, but now we build five and a half meter transatlantic and trans-Pacific vessels. What position do you have and what does that mean? Uh, that means, or I have uh, a mechanical team lead position, one of three. Um, so that means that I help oversee and coordinate all of the mechanical team uh, projects, as well as interface with electrical and software projects to make sure that everything uh, integrates smoothly, all the systems work together, and nothing clashes. Yeah, cool. Uh, so the mechanical team that you'll see uh, in great numbers around you today, they work on uh, mechanical projects that range from working on the keel, the rudder, the hull, the rig, uh, sensors, and sort of electromechanical stuff. Um, and today you'll see a lot of uh, hands-on construction of the mold. Uh, in terms of the electrical team, uh, they are located in the office today. Uh, they work on um, all of our power electronics. Uh, there's also software working on navigation and autonomy and control working on our control algorithms and modeling of the system. What's your favorite part about being on this team? Uh, so I think my favorite part is that it gives me the opportunity to sort of expand my skills well beyond what I get in class and gives me the resources to um, to sort of experience things that I wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity to experience. I get to work in a large team, I get to uh, learn as a part of a group, uh, and um, speak to industry and faculty mentors and really expand my skills. Cool. Uh, so I think my favorite uh, memory was when we were going out to Newfoundland uh, to launch our first vessel, Ada. So I was out there for about two and a half weeks with, I think, 12 or 15 other students. Uh, it varied as people came and left. Uh, but it was uh, long, uh, exciting days of testing on the water, coming back and troubleshooting, building stuff, uh, fixing things. Uh, it was um, a great bonding experience with teammates as well as a really cool learning experience. Yeah. Construction began around 2014, and after, uh, or no, began, yeah, 2014. So after 2014, um, we spent about two and a half years designing and building. Uh, then in late 2016, uh, we launched uh, Ada from Newfoundland in about August. Uh, when we launched in August, uh, initially everything was going great. Uh, three days, uh, we were going faster and further than anyone had done before, so we actually held the world record for distance and speed traveled at that oh, wow. point. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately we uh, ran into some of the tropical cyclones that were coming south along the east coast of North America. And what that meant is that poor Ada here ran into some pretty tough weather. Uh, we broke the rig off uh, and we thought that all was lost at that point because she wasn't responding to rudder. She must be pretty strong though, she's still intact. Yeah, so I think that uh, lends a lot of, um, or gives a lot of credit to the people that went to and designed and built this because it went through several Category 5 storms, which wow. was really amazing. And in spite of some damage, like uh, some things were lost and broken off, some things were a bit roughed up, yeah. it still came back in the end, um, sort of by chance. Yeah. 